Board of Selectmen, our manager. Article 9 of this year's warrant article asks $1.5 million for the purpose of reconstruction a portion of Lafayette Road to Toll Avenue to include street repairs and reconstruction, materials and labor, and also to include associated drainage systems maintenance and re replacement. The replacement of sidewalks, the installation of ornamental street lining, granite curbing, and other roadway infrastructure needs. To sugarcoat this article, taxpayers are not being asked for money. The town plans to take it from the Road Improvement Capital Fund, which will essentially drain that fund because we only got 1.6 million in it, and you're here to take a look at what you're asking for, <coughs> five. On the surface, and upon first read, one does not necessarily gasp. We're tied up with the sewer issue. But then recollection sets in. I refer you to articles 11 and 44 of last year's warrant articles. Article 11 calls for $1.1 million to replace the sewer main on Lafayette Road, High Street to Winnicott Road, <clears throat> and to perform the associated reconstruction and patching of the roadway. There was no mention of drainage issues at that time. The sewer work was done, and the plan at that time in the fall was to pave it in the spring. It was mentioned several times by the DPW director, as well as the town manager, we can pave this, we got the current money, no mention of drainage. Please note, for the purpose of this warrant article, the total financial impact is not 1.1, but 1.8, because you got interest, a 0.8 over 30 years. Now on Article 44. By the way, there's 613,000 left in that fund for the road, paving of the road. Now on to Article 44 of the 2017 warrant. Article 44 was for 300,000, which by the way, 297,500 remain unspent and lapses this month for the reconstruction of Lafayette Road from High Street to Winnicott Road again. This would include street, sidewalk, utility, and lighting. Sound familiar? For the Hampton Village to revitalize the downtown. The preliminary design would be used to support a future project that might be funded by grants and has the potential to be funded by the Road Improvement Capital Reserve Fund as well. Sound familiar again? And this was backed up with a 30,000 deposit by, uh, or a donation by Experience Hampton. There's 297 left in that fund. We don't even think, we don't even know what's happening with that fund. There's been no status, there's no, there's no accounting for it, nobody is speaking for it. I don't know anything that's happening there and it lapses this month. Be advised that between these two funds, last year's $1.1 million request article, uh, whatever it was now, I forgot, 11, and the 44 is 910,712 unspent dollars, almost a billion bucks sitting there doing nothing. <clears throat> and now one and a half million for another project is being offered up. <clears throat> Enough already. So there you have it. Sounds like the town is trying to accomplish in Article 9 in this year's warrant a good part of what Experience Hampton was trying to accomplish with Article 44 last year. And I won't go through what, what the intentions were of Experience Hampton with their, grant, with their grants and their visions and their plans, but I don't know anything about it right now. In summary, we have 613,000 left in last year's warrant Article 11. There is 297,500 left in the Article 44 that is lapsing at the end of this month. <clears throat> this is a grand total of 910,000 unspent dollars sitting in the capital warrant status listings and affecting taxpayers. The town is now asking to, uh, for a 2018 warrant Article 9 for one and a half million more for the same roadway. That poor roadway is getting a lot of attention and to perform associated maintenance and replacement of the drainage system, which we really haven't heard much about for a year and a half at least. In addition, the town looks to be trying to accomplish the plan of Experience Hampton. Just look at the similarities of what the town is asking for the money to do with Article 9 and what Experience Hampton looked for in Article 44 last year. Very similar. The capital fund is being drained as well, just as the 2007 17 Article 44 prophesied. By using the capital road fund, the taxpayers are not being asked to provide money. It's a sugar-coated, it's a sugar-coated warrant. Good strategy to use when you want to pass something. All this is too much for me. My suspicions are raised on all fronts. I recommend a very loud no on this Article 9. Very loud no. We can use such money that is in the Capital Reserve Fund, 1.6 million, 
on streets and towns that truly need to be addressed and where a solid rationale can be presented. Such is not the case with this Article 9. Article 9 poses too many questions for me. I've been on, I've been on presidential circle for 39 years. Has never been paved. Okay, There's too go, many cracks. We've got to go with the three minutes, Too many please. cracks. Thank you. To count. <laughs> I got it, Jim. This is the... Uh, the uh, Thank you. Thank you for listening.